I just wanted to make a quick video talking about the hardest thing um, I have found about being on the carnivore diet. Hey, my name is Sue. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm just talking very quickly about the thing that I have found the most difficult about being on the carnivore diet. Um, as you can see, it's a beautiful day out here today, sitting outside, see that blue sky? Just stunning, stunning winter weather here in New Zealand with frosty mornings and blue skies. Um, and um, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I've had um, some family stuff going on the last couple of weeks and it's been really good, really nice to see all my family. But it got me thinking about the thing that I find the most difficult about the carnivore diet. And so it's not, you know, missing out on other foods, it's not cravings, it's not, you know, not not um, drinking alcohol, although I do that occasionally. It's not um, the cost, it's not anything, not any of that stuff. The most difficult thing that I find about being on the carnival diet, since I've been on the carnival diet, is knowing the benefits and how much it helps our health and seeing people around me that I love and that I care about who have got health challenges that I won't consider it. That I find really hard. Um, and I get it, you know, I understand it's always hard, especially with those closest to you, you know, they, they tend to pay probably the least attention to what you have to say compared to others, you know, I mean, I have clients and that that, um, kind of will listen to what I have to say and that you know uh, respect my opinion on things and stuff but when it comes to family and friends you know those that kind of think they know you the best anyway um, that's not always the case not always and you know the, the carnival diet I mean I get it when I first heard about it I thought it was absolutely mental um, my whole belief around meat being you know not not good for us particularly and that plants were the way to go um, really was my paradigm and for me to shift that was huge but I'm always open to trying new things uh, especially when nothing else seems to be working so um, I guess maybe that I'm just a little bit different than uh, some people out there but, um, you know it's I just I get really frustrated and I find it really hard because I know that um, those those people that I'm watching that have got, you know, these kind of chronic health issues, metabolic issues mostly, you know, I mean, you've got all the common stuff, you know, like diabetes and heart disease and hope. And, you know, and then you see people within the carnival community who are healing all that stuff and curing it, you know, sometimes really quickly. But when when those around you aren't open enough to consider it or look at it, that's that's a really hard kind of thing to deal with. And that's, I mean, that's one of the reasons that I really want to get this weight off because, you know, you see so many people in the carnival community who just drop weight really quickly. And that grabs attention. When there's a visual thing that other people can see, that really gets people's attention. And, you know, the... the the YouTube channels that really take off, you know, uh, they're the ones where people have got this massive weight loss and because there's so many people out there looking for ways to lose weight, that's what that's what kind of takes them and gets them intrigued. Whereas people like myself whose bodies have had so much to heal and the weight's not moving, though people around me can't see what I feel in my body, you know, they're starting to see me looking a lot better. You know, at our family function just recently, I had a couple of people who said to me, you're looking really well. And I said, I'm feeling really well, you know. But until this extra 20 kilos that I'm carrying is gone, they're still probably not going to take it particularly seriously because that's what seems to have the impact. It's the visual, you know, when you can see that, oh, well, there's all this weight's all of a sudden gone. It's like, oh, well, what did you do? That's what kind of um, causes intrigue and causes the questions, you know. Um, I think that, for example, a lot of my family and friends 
didn't really understand what had happened to me with the mold illness. You know, they they because I don't really talk a whole lot about what's going on with me apart from on my YouTube channel. I tell you guys everything. You people who are listening to me, I tell you everything. But when it comes to you know the, those people who are closest to me I don't say a whole lot about what's going on with me really and never have I never used to say anything these days I I talk a little bit but there's there's kind of no understanding of what really actually happened and you know people just look and they go oh my god she's put on a lot of weight she looks like crap you know and they just assume that you must be eating a crappy diet or you're not looking after yourself but that wasn't the case at all and so the, the those kind of judgments and um, that um, are common, and I understand that as well. Completely understand that. Um, but yeah, that's one of the reasons that I really want to get this weight off because that way it just feels to me like people take you more seriously. You know, like if you if you can shift that weight, then they go, oh, she must know what she's talking about. So yeah, that that's um, something that I kind of thought quite a lot about and I just I watch people's reactions and the way people respond to things and um, I know that that's kind of a thing so yeah so for me that is probably the hardest thing that I struggle with on the carnival diet is that those who need it the most often won't consider it you know um, even you know as I said a lot of my clients listen to me and they respect my opinion but even a lot of them just when you mention carnival they just think think you it's all a bit nuts and some are interested um, but people are so brainwashed into the whole meat this bad thing that they really really struggle with it and so I guess until they can really see something concrete visual happening with you then they're probably not going to pay a whole lot of attention and that's just the way that it is our, our society is very much geared towards the way you look and uh, body image and all that sort of thing which I think is a real shame um, health is much more important and for me this last two years has been really about focusing on my health now right now is the time when I'm going to really start focusing on the weight loss and but that's because I think that my body can now do it so yeah so that was just something that I wanted to say that I wanted to talk about um, I'd be interested in your opinion if you want to put a comment or a question down below um, what your experience has been, what you think about this, um, you know, whether you struggle with the same thing. I think probably a lot of us on the carnival diet struggle with this because, you know, there, there's people out there on internet land who who think that the whole carnival thing is a cult, <laughs> and but it's it's not anything like that. It's just a whole lot of people who are deciding to open their minds and open their paradigm and change their paradigms and and try this you know like for me it was try it for 30 days try it for 30 days see how it goes and once I had that 30 days was up it's like there's no way I'm stopping this man what a difference and most people who try carnivore are the same not everyone but most most are the same and so yeah it just has so much benefit and so much to give us to heal our bodies that I think it's a shame that people won't look at it so yeah as I was saying comments and questions below um, if you like this video make sure to subscribe um, like and share with anyone who you think might be interested and I thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you again another day bye for now